from Racers Marshall Pruitt, and there's some beautiful sights to be seen back here. If you look out there with all the cars and the people, folks are turning out like we haven't had here at the Speedway for a little while. Attendance during practice up 10%, we were told, by the Speedway. Some of the biggest attendance numbers since 2016, so I love this growth. Let's talk about something radically different though than the great fan turnout so far. Another little tech item. If you've been watching practice on Peacock, if you're gonna watch this weekend, you're probably going to hear the term fast jacker, weight jacker, fast jacking. What is that? Wanted to share a little bit of insight here with you about what this is because you're gonna see this used throughout every qualifying run. The back of the cars, on the right rear corner, attached to the right rear shock spring, there is a hydraulic device that extends or compresses. That is operated by the driver on the steering wheel button that they push to either lengthen that hydraulic ram or shorten that hydraulic ram to the weight jacker. By lengthening it and pushing down more on the right rear suspension, you're adding some weight diagonally across the car to the left front tire. That will help if the car is not turning as much as they want, dialing up a bit of weight jacker, that'll run that weight across to the left front tire, make it turn better. If the car is turning too quickly and snapping and oversteering, you might dial that down. You might go the opposite direction and shorten that hydraulic ram, the weight jacker, take a little bit of weight off that left front tire slow down how much it turns. The term that we've been hearing though, kind of for the first time, is the fast jacker. Might sound like that's something brand new that's been developed this year. It isn't. This is just a new term, new terminology we're hearing on the broadcasts. It's a really interesting thing though. There is a development that's been done in recent years where teams have a pump which sends a ton of hydraulic pressure to either build up and extend that hydraulic ram or depress that hydraulic ram, compress it. Going into the corners, this is something where the drivers will inflate, add that pressure, and have it come back up to normal. But once they get onto the straightaways, coming out of turn four, coming out of turn two, there's an aerodynamic benefit to relieving all the pressure, compressing that weight jack or that hydraulic ram on the right rear corner and it makes the right rear sit down a little bit. Well, why would that improve the car's aerodynamics? Well, by sitting that right rear down, lifting the left front up a wee bit, you're breaking some of that aerodynamic seal. You're decreasing that downforce that you just don't need going in a straight line. Once you get close to the corner, boom, they hit that button again, fire a bunch of hydraulic pressure, into that cylinder, it stands up, the car comes back to its normal platform, turn in, everything is working perfectly. But you'll hear the fast jacker, weight jacker, described a whole bunch here this weekend, and indeed it's done for aerodynamic purposes. Car goes faster during qualifying with that rear sitting down, breaking some of that aerodynamic seal. The speed at which the ram decompresses or returns to its normal situation varies from team to team. Some teams, it takes about two and a half seconds for it to either collapse or expand, others even faster. So there are certain teams who put a lot of time and money into this to indeed make these things, boom, extend, decompress faster than the others. That allows them to be in the perfect aerodynamic configuration for longer than the others. You might have to hit it sooner because it takes longer to build pressure to get back up to normal. So. Look for the in-car cameras of drivers hitting buttons constantly. There's a whole separate topic we might get into tomorrow about fuel maps and how drivers are constantly adjusting fuel maps in order to get the best performance out of their motors for those four timed laps to get here into the Indy 500.